Capone Tone here and welcome to part 18 of my FF7 walkthrough slash playthrough. We are now at Fort Condor. This place is completely like side mission, you don't have to do this. But we're gonna do the first part just so you can see what's going on. These guys are in a battle against Shinra as well. And they're trying to protect their fort. They have a reactor at the top of their fort, and that reactor has a huge materia, and also a phoenix materia, and they're protecting it from Shinra, because they want it. Greedy bastards. And you'll see this person right here, he'll talk about it, and what the fort's all about. I'm not interested, but you have to listen. <laughs> Again, this place is like a um, completely side mission. You can come back here like, I don't know, a good like four or five times I believe. And just do the same battle over and over. But I'm only going to do it one time during this walkthrough. And of course the other time that's actually required way later in the story. Alright, I'll listen. I'll help out head up here. On the other side is an item shop along with, I forgot what other shop, materia shop I believe. And we accepted to help them out. You gotta hire soldiers to protect the fort. And the soldiers cost money and you have to spend your own money. These bastards are cheap. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna spend money. I'm not even gonna use any soldiers. But I'm still going to defeat the enemy at the end. Because I'm cheap too, man. <laughs> Trying to mooch people for gill by your soldiers. Fuck that. Just say enough. And then we could advance the battle. Okay, ready. And we can set up 10 enemies before the battle. 20 total at the field at the same time. It's like a strategy game, pretty much. I'm not setting shit down. <laughs> Either way, if they get to your base, we're just gonna fight this enemy in a short battle. It's like a little mini boss, pretty much. He's easy as hell. But yeah, these enemies are gonna climb up the mountain. You hire soldiers to defend your base. Simple strategy game, pretty much. But again, it costs a shit ton of gill to protect this place, and I don't have that kind of money right now. <laughs> Plus, it's just better to let them invade your base and just kill them once they get there. As you will see in one second. And I cut a lot of stuff out, because it takes forever for them to climb up this bitch. And they are invading our base now. And we're gonna go fuck them up. This guy is really not hard. All you gotta do, just keep using magic spells over and over and over, and you'll be done with them pretty shortly. Attacking, you're probably gonna miss a lot. So just keep using Ice, Fire, Bolt over and over and over. You can also use Flamethrower too if you have it. Quake in there as well. Does a little bit more damage. Two fifty one, pretty good. But every kind of magic spell does at least like one forty. What the fuck? And as you can see, if you attack you'll miss a lot, so just stick with using magic spells and limit breaks if you, if and when you get them. Cross Slash. Cross Slash has a good chance of paralyzing the enemies so they can't move for a few turns, and it just did. 
As you can see, he is not moving, so we're just gonna fuck him up. And just like that, he's dead. Easy as shit. I love what Tifa and a I don't know what kind of claw that was. But we got that. And that's all you get for doing this. If you do it like five more times or whatever, um, you'll just get items that really aren't worth doing. <laughs> I mean, you get items that aren't worth it, pretty much. And there's only one required time where you have to do this. And that's on uh, disc two. But since you're helping them out, you can use their bed for free. Another reason why I don't like doing this side quest or all the missions, or I mean doing it like five times, is because you're going to have to keep driving back here over and over and over. You're going to explore a lot of the world map later on and this place gets pretty further away as you progress with the game. But now we're done here so we're going to leave. Our next thing on our to-do list is to get Yuffie, next playable character, or Yuffie, whatever you like to call her. I'd call her Yuffie. Alright, I'm going to save the game real quick, and I cut that out. Now let's continue on. We are going to get Yuffie now. You have to go in one of these tall grass fields, doesn't matter, and just keep initiating battles in there. Eventually, you'll fight Yuffie. And I did not get her on the first try, <laughs> but um, I cut a lot of stuff out. I cut out a handful of battles, but this is what happens when you actually fight Yuffie. All those other battles I just ran away from. Fucked up on Sifu's little break. Only got one yeah. Healing wind though. Get our characters. And Yuffie's really easy by the way. You really don't need to use anything out of the ordinary. Just keep, I guess just use magic. Flamethrower won't hurt either if you have it. And simple enough. We've defeated her. Now follow my uh, dialogue options down to the T and you will get her to join your party. I didn't have a player's guide back then, so it was really annoying. But I saved the game again. And now we gotta head toward Junon. Which is where we have to go to next. To advance the story. And we almost made it all the way there without a battle, but right there, I just ran away. <laughs> Alright, now I'll head uh, down to the left. And 
this girl over here is playing with the dolphin. Pretty cool. Priscilla. And she believes we're part of Shinra. What a bitch. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, uh oh. What the hell is that thing? And she's scared for the dolphin and trips in the water. <laughs> but here is our next boss battle. This dude isn't really too tough either. He has a couple strong attacks though that you should be wary of. We already have a limit break, so we'll use Cross Slash right now. Hopefully you can paralyze him. He's weak against Ice, I believe. We'll use Kokomog as well. I don't think I've showed that off yet. It's our first summon. Death Blow. Also does a pretty solid amount of damage and it also has a good chance of paralyzing the enemy. I use flamethrower a lot with cloud. Just over 200 every turn. Kind of like um, apps early in the game. It has this sewer tsunami attack. It's not called sewer tsunami, it's just called... I forgot what it's called, it's some kind of other tsunami. It also uses this bubble thing, kind of like Rufus did earlier. Pyramids. You gotta attack the bubble with the magic spell in order to get rid of it. And then your character can be used again. The bubble also drains your HP while your character is in it. Yeah, big wave is the attack. It does pretty solid damage. Use Cure All when you think your characters need it. They all fall under around 200 HP. Just keep hammering them with uh, magic spells. Flamethrower with Cloud if you have it. And get your characters out of the bubble ASAP. Tifa will be out and keep hammering, hammering them with flamethrower. This battle will be over before you know it. And cure when you think you need it. Big wave. Eh, not too bad. Tifa's got a limit. Fuck him up. Beat rush. Somersault. And now, he uses big wave one more time, and then he dies. Just so you know that. <laughs> kind of like a cheap shot. But anyway, we defeated him. All leveled up. Good stuff. Power wrist accessory. Now Priscilla is unconscious. That old woman is not happy. She is very worried. She's not breathing. It's not a good sign. And they want Cloud to do CPR, mouth to mouth. <laughs> but she's just a girl. How nice, Cloud. And now we have to perform CPR on Priscilla to bring her back to life. And I'll do that on my next part of my Final Fantasy VII walkthrough slash playthrough.